That's me there, zipping down our hill to the markets. It's steeper than it looks, actually. And here's where the stalls will be in just a few hours, as I use my bike as a shopping cart. And I make my purchases of organic good stuff. Nice bike, actually, yes. Yeah, it works well. If necessary, I can tote about 30 kilos up the hills to home. My bike is electric, I should add. But there's another point that I'd like to make yeah, about all this. There we go. Have a good day. How many of your customers come like me with, on a bike here? Maybe just you. <laughs> uh, there is a few bikes, but, but not a lot. His partner from Holland knows what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah we, do, we do everything by bike. Yes, small businesses like this, it's perfect for the bike because you have a basket like I do over there, yes. you know, and you load it up at a small business. You don't go to a supermarket on a bike, do you? You don't have problems parking. The problem with this country is it's not a bicycle friendly country. I'm doing a, a survey about bike transport. Would you ever think of using a bike to come to the shops? Yes, I'd love to. This rather useful train of thought came to me after seeing footage from Holland, sent to me by Violetta Brana Lafoucard. She'd filmed a market day, and suddenly I realized that there was a different way to read this footage. That this market was all about bike traffic. About shoppers who do obviously small purchase runs, probably do them frequently, rather than perhaps going in a car to a supermarket. It made me think that we could make a case that in Europe, markets and small-scale shops probably depend for their very existence on bike traffic. Now, if that's true, what a chance we're missing here for a useful alliance between bike advocates like me and small shopkeepers and their representatives like Chambers of Commerce. I mean, there's a natural synergy there to be exploited. I headed for the Everly Markets in Sydney, knowing I'd find bike shoppers there and, and eager to test out whether my theories made any sense to the locals. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, and, and perhaps, I mean, that's interesting. I mean, may, maybe bikes being sort of smaller and more portable can kind of support that boutique that boutique approach. The problem with cycling in Sydney in general is that it's not really ever seen as a transport solution and only ever seen as a recreational activity. And it's yeah, and it's not until we stop and really think about it as, a, as an actual uh, transport solution then, then our attitudes aren't going to change. So, Of course, using bikes for transport is one of the quaint things that the Dutch do, isn't it? And so it's hard for us to draw inspiration from there. But Montreal is a different story. North American city, much more like ours. Up till 96, when I lived there, you would not call it a bike place at all. But then after I left, along came the Bixies, which were the public bikes that you don't have to worry about being stolen, breaking down, they're there for the taking. Now, people don't shop much on Bixies. They're more for A to B. But they do open up to non-riders the idea of bikes as transport. And private bikes there are supporting their small businesses as well. Do you think it's good for commerce? This oh, absolutely. I mean, especially with Montreal, too. I mean, there's all these little, uh, and like and a little shop in the corner that you'd never ever like, seen before. And like, you simply park your bike and you go in. Now, there you have it. When you're on a bike, it's so easy to stop. You might smell bread and you stop. You see a shop you want to go into. You see a sign that you wouldn't be able to read from a car and it makes you stop. A street display, books on the sidewalk or something. You're in the thick of commerce. You're a hunter-gatherer. Now cars, of course, do a good job of bringing business to regional shopping centers. Whereas bikes are like sprinklers. 
they water the whole commercial garden. It was time to find out what a Chamber of Commerce might think of all this. I went to Five Dock, a flattish area of Sydney with lots of small shopping clusters, and I found the head of their Chamber of Commerce, Joe Di Giacomo, who's also a teacher of Italian and a lover of art. What do you think? Well, you, your uh, ideas and your comments were quite interesting looking at it. I'd see maybe our area to be perhaps uh, down the track, uh, the ideal place for people to come and do shopping on a bike. Uh, so uh, where to from here? You'll take this and discuss it with Well, I'm happy, I'm happy to talk, A, to, to my members, obviously, to the shopkeepers, but more importantly, I think councils should get involved in this, and uh, I would imagine they'd be very uh, interested in looking at the idea. Maybe we can even test it somewhere to begin with and see what the effect of that could be.